praise the Lord. Today we are going to see what deceives us. Um, Bible clearly says that um, four things deceives us. Um, let us see today what deceives us, how to uh, be rescued from that deception. So for that we'll take Ephesians chapter 5 verse 6. Um, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 6 says, um, Ephesians, uh, don't let anyone deceive you um, with uh, meaningless words. It is because of sin like this that God anger come to those who refuse to obey him. So don't don't allow you to be deceived by the wrong words spoken by others. If you hear them and you start to disobey God's word and the God's wrath will say, certainly punishment, God's anger will come upon us. So we should be very here, very careful and hearing what others are saying. So if you are going to hear all nonsense things, you are, go, you are going to be deceived by that meaningful words. Um, so according to the Bible, four things deceives us. Um, Satan, sin, self and others uh, will deceive us. First of all, Satan, um, because 2 Corinthians 11, 13 to 14 says, people who brag like this or boast like this um, are false apostles. They are dishonest workers since they discuss themselves as Christ apostles. In Corinthian church, uh, so many people are coming and telling they are apostles, but truly they are uh, false apostles. In the same way, uh, in our life also, even in the church, um, some, uh, some people say they are the God's people, they are God's ministers, and totally they are not God's ministers. They are the false preachers. Um, who preach um, uh, from the Satan and that's what uh, no wonder even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light um, so should be very careful and hearing the words of those um, false preachers um, because they are uh, the, the, the preachers they are them having the light, disgusting themselves as the angel of light. We should be careful about it because um, he was deceived um, by one of this person. That person is nothing but the uh, devil. The angel, the Adam was not deceived. It was the woman who was deceived and sinned. And however, she and all women will be saved through the birth of child if they lead respectful lives in faith, love and holiness. Um, because um, the Timothy was a pastor in Ephesian church. Um, in Ephesians, um, there was a goddess called Dianal. To the Diana, so many women are dedicated. They think they are the, uh, the, 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 the the age of God and they used to make authority over other people, especially the men, and they think they are from God. Um, so they are deceiving people. Those people, those girl, ladies are um, saved. They are included in the church. Even they are in the church, they are deceiving the people in that way. That's why Paul is writing to to make you to, to, uh, to tell the uh, women, especially, not be deceived by this type of uh, cult behavior. Um, and, uh, and, and those women say, uh, will be saved. Uh, they, are, they should lead a respectful lives um, in faith, love, and holiness. Um, in that way, they will be saved. Uh, so they, that way, they are not going to be deceived. Um, so we should be very careful, especially ladies, should not be deceived by Satan. So first person who deceives us is Satan. Next is um, the, the thing which deceives us is sin. Romans 7, 11 says, sin takes the opportunity provided by his commandment, deceives me and then killed me. So slowly, the sin deceives us and kills spiritually, okay, make a spiritual death to us. Them. So the second thing that deceives the sin, the same thing the Pharaoh was deceived by his own sin even though he said he will deceive he will leave the leave people uh, people who are captive for 400 years um, and allow them to go and worship in the, la in the land destroyed by God but he never let them each and every time he deceitfully um, um, he, he you know, not letting the people go so this happened for nine times uh, and the tenth time even he deceived at that time God sent him the, 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 the destroying angel and the firstborn son were killed in all the home and the they when we went when the after Pharaoh uh, sent them out, um, even the army chased them. Those army were uh, completely destroyed by Red Sea. So in this case, it is very clear if you are going to live still in the sin, that sin will destroy you totally spiritually and also physically. So second thing will destroy is the sin. Third one is the self. Um, how the self destroy us? So how we destroy ourselves? Um, because James one twenty two says, "Do not merely listen to God word and so deceive yourself. Do what it says." So if you listen to the word and and don't do what it says, then that means you are deceiving yourself. So don't think that you are deceiving others. Um, that's what happened to Gayasim when Elisha's uh, um, servant, um, Gayasim, uh, went behind a person, Naha Naman, gift from him, even though Elijah denied it uh, when he rescued him from that uh, severe um, leprosy. This time Gayasim told lies um, and then good, uh, uh, got some gift from uh, Naman, which he wanted to give it to Elisha, what Elisha uh, denied it. But this time Gayasim went behind him and deceitfully asked from his uh, gift and keep it in home and then returned back to Elisha. And that time Elisha asked Gayasim, where, where you went? I didn't go anywhere. That's what he started to tell lies. Um, 
at that time Lisha said was not my spirit with you when the man get the, down from his chariot to meet you is this a time to take money or to accept a clothes um, or olive groves and vineyards or flocks and herds and males and female servant because um, Elisha didn't accept anything because um, he didn't want to sell the gods um, healing power especially um, because he's a Gentile man he's going to Syria nation he's going to tell the people that Jehovah was the true God if you accept money from him that means you are, you are, you are doing everything for money this, this should not happen but Gaius he want to totally destroy it uh, that for Naaman leprosy will cling to you and to your descendant forever Gaius he went from Elisha's presence his skin was leprous uh, so don't deceive yourself um, if you're going to hear the word and not do according to it you are deceiving yourself and totally what the sin what you did before will certainly come and attack you you cannot come out of it the fourth thing which deceives is that other people deceive you second Timothy 3 30 says but evil people and phony preachers will go from bad to worse and as they mislead people and are themselves misled so truly when some people are misleading other people at last they are going to be misled that what happened to the Ephesian church that what Ammon did to his father because Ammon was lustfully want to get his sister Tamar but Tamar was a, was a son of David but her mother was some other lady but Ammon was also son of David but her mother was some because David married more ladies and um, more women. David has more wife. Um, but Ammon had a lustful behavior, uh, uh, lustful love towards Tamar, and she and he wanted to um, um, sleep with that lady. But once um, that, that's why he, he was so depressed. Once his relative came and asked, What's the problem? And Ammon told this that time, Ammon, that relative told to tell deceitfully deceive, deceive his father and allow his uh, sister to come to her home. That's what uh, Ammon laid out and pretended to be evil. When the king came to see him, Ammon said to him, King, king David, um, I would like my sister Tamar to come and make some special bread in my sight so I may eat from her hand. So David sent a word to Tamar at his palace, go to house of your brother Ammon and prepare some food for him. Everywhere it is written, brother Ammon. And Ammon is telling my sister, the relationship is very clearly tell their sister and brother. But only um, Ammon, after that, when the lady came inside, see, um, Ammon totally raped her. So that was the greatest sin what Ammon did. Um, so after that, sometime after two years, um, uh, the Tamar's real brother, Absalom, killed Ammon. So can you see here how deceitfully he deceived his father, not only he was deceived himself and he was killed by his brother itself. Um, and why this happened? Because already David deceived him, Uriah, and took his wife. Um, so because of this, uh, this family son, his son also started to deceive other people. So we should be very careful when we, when we say if you are God's children, you start to deceive others, it totally affects their family. So we should not be deceived by four things. One is Satan, second is sin, third one is self, and by others. I'll pray for you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for revealing that we should not be received by four things. The Holy Spirit, help us to not be deceived by four things in our life. In the name of Jesus, Amen. God bless you.